I had a lot of gray hair before the season started, so maybe <laughs> after the, towards the end of the year, uh, I'm gonna have a lot more gray and gotta be using that just for men or something in a minute. But being back home has been great and just really feeling the love from the city and really feeling the love about the, from the basketball team and the support has, uh, has been phenomenal. Few people know Flint like Charlie Bell knows Flint. The head coach of the city's newest professional sports team is back where it all started. And the man responsible for uniting the city with its favorite sport, team owner, Kevin Mays. I've been in this community, I've born and raised in the city of Flint, and just start thinking to myself like, man, a team in my hometown, you know, a team in Flint is what we've needed, is what we've been waiting for. Um, and I felt like I was, you know, the person to, to light that fire and get it going. As far as identifying a head coach, was it an easy find for you to, to have Charlie? Man, it, it was a lot easier than I ever would have imagined. Obviously knows the game, played at every level that our athletes have played at or aspire to play at. The camera here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. <laughs> okay. And this thing doesn't go without Charlie or having the blessing of the rest of the Flintstones. So, you know, working with all those guys and, you know, knowing that we have their support is, you know, it means the world to us. I know it means the world to the community. Flint, you know, especially being a smaller city, everybody knows everybody. Everybody want to have those bragging rights. You know, you don't want to see these guys being uh, lifelong, you know, TBL players. You know, I think this is just a stepping stone for them to start uh, their pro career. And, you know, if I can help one or two guys get somewhere every year in and year out, you know, I just think that it really mean a lot, you know, to those, those players and as well as it mean a lot to me. Flint United plays in the TBL, a league that's been around since 2018 and has now expanded to more than 30 teams across the country, giving players like Jair Grayer a chance to continue his NBA dream now that his college days are over. I felt like I would have some type of opportunity to play somewhere, but like it probably wasn't wouldn't be what I want to be at. I definitely got down on myself like a lot for a lot for a while. And then uh it just it was just one day it just, just sparked to me, like it clicked on me to just, just get back to it, get back to doing what I do. Um, and just I just fell in love with the game all over again, playing with this team really. Um, I hope to be able to get in the summer league for the NBA and just have different opportunities to go play in the uh, in the NBA. And if that doesn't work out, try to go overseas or somewhere, wherever, wherever I, I fall. I just see where, where it takes me. And now you get a chance to wear Flint, you know, across your chest again. How much pride do you take in that? I, I take a ton of pride in it. I always got, anywhere I go, I always got Flint on my back, anywhere. Basketball in our city have been synonymous. I mean, you know, I feel like everybody here feels like they have a shot to make it to the NBA. Whether you can play or not, everybody has a basketball story, a basketball dream. And it's like, hey, if we ever want to get to where we want to get to, let's do it at home. So, you know, we'll, we'll start here and you know, the Bucks have been very successful. The Firebirds have been, been very successful. And you know, just looking at the big picture, we wanna offer those opportunities to our community. And I think we're doing a great job at that.